Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares. And this is going to be a collection, update, and a media haul. Because, as my good friend Joe says, physical media matters. I haven't done one of these in a long time. Usually when I get stuff, it goes right into the collection. But it does matter. And I think the more we show this kind of stuff, the more we'll enforce that physical media does matter. All right, this is going to be pretty massive, so I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as I can. So I'm going to start with the VHS. This is the main event with Barbara Streisand and... Um, uh, I can't remember the guy's name. <laughs> Why can't I remember his name? O'Neill. Um, All right, well, I'll never get to it. So that's the main event. From my 80s. This is one I had never heard of with Sharon Stone called Tears in the Rain. You can tell I haven't done one of these in a while. But, seems to be kind of rare. Alright. The Hand That Rocks the Cradle. This movie's awesome. Haven't seen this in a while. This is Abbott and Costello in Jack and the Beanstalk. This is actually a colorized version of it. I love Abbott and Costello. They're awesome. We have Eddie and the Cruisers. <clears throat> Great movie. Love it. Unlawful Entry. Really good copy of it. Vince Vaughn, I believe. No. That's right. It's uh, Kurt Russell and Ray Liotta. Rest in peace. 52 pickup. A little bit beat up, but still good copy. Nonetheless. <clears throat> we have an Anchor Bay. The island at the top of the world. A movie that was extremely hard to find for a long time, maybe still is, and that is Eddie and the Cruisers 2, Eddie Lives. Not as good as the original, but it is a fun movie. So. We have Death Before Dishonor. And Breeders. Okay, that'll do it for the VHS. Well, technically no, but for now it'll do it for the VHS. I'm going to do the seasons real quick. Everybody Loves Raymond, the second season. This show is so good. <clears throat> we have Anger Management, the complete first season. A show I've only seen a couple episodes of, but I do like it. From what I've seen, we have MASH, Season 1, Everybody Loves Raymond, the fourth season, such a good show, Everybody Loves Raymond, the first season, And this I was particularly happy to find. This is... It's Howdy Doody Time. This big tin. With, uh, of course, Clarabelle and Buffalo Bob. So, The Lost Episodes. Pretty cool. Alright, let's get to the regular DVDs. I got... Darren Aronofsky's The Fountain, which I've never seen. This was actually recommended to me by Joe. Another big one that my buddies Brad and Joe love, and that is The Many Saints of Newark. I actually picked this up from Walmart out of the $5 bin, believe it or not. <clears throat> then we have a stage version, I believe, of Romeo and Juliet. 
you'll get the reason why I got this uh, later on. <laughs> We have Jungle Cruise with uh, The Rock. Got this at a thrift store. I'm not really into movies like that too much, but I figured I'd pick it up. Now, on the other hand, Oliver and Company is the one I didn't have from Disney. And I love Disney, so... <clears throat> the cartoons, anyway. We have Officer Down. I picked this up because it looked like fun. Most of these come from thrift stores. Stephen Dorff. I always liked him as an actor. We have Fortress, which is one of Bruce Willis's last bunch of films. I do believe now he is um, officially retired. Uh, because of Joe <laughs> and his Saturday sleaze, I got Bedazzled. It's a movie I never had. And we also have a recent um, Academy Award winner, Brendan Fraser. Yeah. Okay. My wife wanted this. It's a REM. Perfect Square. It's a live REM show. Not really into them. I like a couple of their songs, but yeah, it is what it is. <clears throat> we have the original and this one's a little bit of an enigma to me um i'm not sure if this is a i want to say this is a uh, bootleg but if it is it's a really damn good one because you have the inside photographs and usually they don't come with that but that is uh, i believe you said it was 1949 the blue lagoon and to go with that we have the remake, The Blue Lagoon, and The B Return to the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of Blue Lagoons going on here. Then we have a superhero movie. This is the Blockbuster exclusive. I'm not sure. I knew Joe and I were going to be doing something with that. This was a pretty cool find. This is a four pack. Let's see. We got Weekend Pass, Hunk, Pom Pom Girls, and The Van. Um, just fun movies. We have Venom, Let There Be Carnage. Found at a thrift store. And Black Widow at a thrift store. All right, now we're going to move on to the horror and, I guess, thriller, if you want to call it that. We have the Amityville Moon. I love my Amityville films. Lifelike. This looks like a fun one. Oop. Jaws 3. You can tell I haven't done this in a while. One I've been wanting to see for a while. Monster Hunter. We have Raging Sharks. Luscious with Carrie Whirr. I know my buddy, um, All Nighter, he likes her. Down by Lies, Stephen Baldwin, Christy Swanson. Irresistible, Susan Sarandon. Dr. X. As if I didn't need another one. Probably my third copy of Basic Instinct, but this is the unrated director's cut. The Ultimate Edition. <laughs> I can hear everybody now. 
The Wicker Man. There's a reason why I got this, and you'll be seeing it coming up in a while. <laughs> That's all I can say. And Widow's Point. I'm going to finish up with the Blu-rays. Sorry I'm going by these so quick, but there's quite a bit of these. I do have one 4K, and the rest are just Blu-rays. Okay, we have Ant-Man. This is an upgrade. Great film. I haven't seen the new one yet. Mysterious Island. This is a TV film, not the Ray Harryhausen Mysterious Island. Transformers. Age of Extinction. I know these aren't received very well, but I got these for a reason as well. Uh, Transformers, The Last Night, and I only paid a dollar a piece for them. I'm sure some people will say you paid too much. <laughs> X-Men Dark Phoenix, this is an upgrade for me. Tai Chi Hero. <clears throat> Greatest Showman. Heard good things about this. A fantastic movie that I just happened to find um, in a thrift store that just came out. Where the Crawl Dads Sing. Really enjoyed this. Didn't read the book, but tempted now. And last but certainly not least, a 4K. And that is The House. With the clock in its walls. Now this is an Eli Roth film. And I was really pleased to find this. I do like Eli Roth a lot. I know he's kind of like. Uh, Rob Zombie. Uh, people love to hate him. Even though he started out really strong. But that is what it is. Alright guys that'll do it. Um, as Joe always says. Physical media matters. And it does. So I'm going to try to do a lot more of these. If you like what you see in here. Hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.